Hello friends, I'm George, the nice many gentleman. Today's video is going to be for those of you guys out there who like a fragrance that's based around the note of vetiver. In this video, I'm going to show you one very good alternative to uh, one of the famous vetiver based fragrances, the Terry Dermes. And that alternative comes from the house of Rosassi and it's called the Rosassi Fatan. Let's quickly check out the presentation that this fragrance comes into. It comes in this sort of a dark grey colored box. On the front you got the Fatan, uh, Pur Om and something written in Arabic. I don't know what exactly, unfortunately. On the back some legal information about the Rosassi uh, company. And on the bottom there's a production date. In this case the production date of this bottle is October of uh, 2022. And once you open up the actual box, this is how the bottle looks. As you can see, it has this sort of a triangle shape to it. Uh, very nice looking, simplistic and yet elegant looking. Again, on the front you got the uh, Fatan for Ohm uh, written, uh, some sticker with Arabic uh, uh, letters on the bottom. And this is how the cap looks. It's made out of plastic. It sits quite snugly, quite tight. And uh, as you can probably take a look at the cap, it may look symmetrical, but for some reason there's only one right way to put uh, the cap on. But once you put it, it's uh, a snug fit and you can easily pick up the bottle uh, through the cap, no problem. And the bottle itself is a 50 milliliter size. Right, I'll show you the sprayer in action in just a second and we'll talk about the actual scent profile of this fragrance. And just one other interesting fact is that the actual fragrance comes colored in this uh, sort of a green color. It's not a coloration that comes from the bottle itself. It's the actual fragrance that has this green color, which is a nice touch, I think. Uh, okay, sprayer. As you can see, the sprayer is quite nice. It has uh, a white distribution to it. Okay, now the actual scent profile of this. Now the uh, official note breakdown, I think uh, lists uh, bergamot, grapefruit, pink pepper, vetiver, cedar, patchouli, uh, jasmine, oak moss, uh, amber and uh, benzoin, I think. But I'll tell you what I personally pick up from that uh, note uh, breakdown. Now, as soon as you spray this fragrance on, you immediately get hit with a pretty loud mix of uh, some spiciness that uh, definitely comes from a pepper note. The, as I said, official note breakdown says pink pepper. I'm not too sure what kind of pepper it is, but it definitely is a pepper note. And I pick up a citrusy mix now, maybe a, a slight hint of uh, grapefruit, uh, more so something like bergamot or lemon, something like that. And you also, um, as soon as you spray this fragrance, you immediately pick up a hint of vetiver as well. Then once this, uh, this fragrance starts to dry down, that uh, citrusy, uh, spicy uh, opening that citrusy spicy mix from the opening starts to gradually fade away a little bit and take more of a back seat and then the vetiver starts to come up now the vetiver is the backbone of this fragrance it's the main note on the dry down it's accompanied by cedar there's definitely uh, an wood note in here on the dry down you start to pick up a slight sweetness from uh, from that amber note so you're introduced with a bit of sweetness on the dry down there's also a bit of a earthy feeling from that patchouli it's not a, a very dirty earthy type of patchouli but it's definitely there like a slightly dirt dirtiness from the patchouli and uh, the oak moss and vetiver they create this sort of a grassy uh, feel to the to the the whole uh, fragrance on the dry down so just to sum it up the opening is uh, a nice blast of citrus, spicy citruses with a hint of uh, vetiver and then on the dry down the fragrance becomes this woody, slightly earthy, slightly grassy, uh, slightly sweet mix with uh, the main players being the vetiver and the cedar on the dry down. Okay, next let's talk about how close this is actually to the terrier mess. Now to my nose the uh, Rosassi Fatan is closer to the uh, terrier mess, the EDT version. Of course, EDP is not that much different, so uh, if you're familiar with the way that the EDT and the EDP uh, of the Terry Dermes smell, you'll definitely pick up that uh, the Rasasi Fatan is in that same style of uh, perfumery. 
but uh, I wouldn't call this exactly a clone of neither the EDT or the EDP of the Teradera Mess, but still it's a very nice sort of an interpretation from Rasasi on the, I think, the EDT version of Teradera Mess. Next, let's talk about performance. Uh, I will tell you uh, my personal experience of how this fragrance has actually performed. I get about 7 hours uh, out of it uh, on skin, which makes it uh, above average uh, on the performance side. Projection is not a super loud fragrance, uh, but I think it's above, above a moderate projection and it project nicely, projects nicely for about 90 minutes. Price-wise, I was able to get this fragrance from a Notino site here in Europe for the equivalent of roughly about $18. But from what I've seen online, uh, this ranges, the price ranges somewhere between, you know, 18 to about 20, 25 dollars, I would say. Now, about versatility and who is this for? Versatility wise, I think this is a pretty versatile fragrance. It's uh, great for the spring season, for the summer season and for early fall. So all in all, you can use it uh, maybe like uh, three out of the four seasons uh, in the year. So it's quite a versatile fragrance. Now the age factor here, I would say is, uh, this fragrance is orientated a little bit more towards the uh, more mature guys out there. And in the end, uh, my final thoughts about the Rasasi Fatan. This is a really, really nice alternative to uh, Teridere Mess, especially the Teridere Mess EDT. Now, personally, that style of perfumery is not my most favorite one out there. I don't really enjoy that much uh, fragrances that are very heavy on the vetiver note, uh, but I cannot deny the fact that this is close to the original one and that it's a quite a versatile fragrance for the warm months of the year. So guys, this was my review of the Rasasi Fatan, a great alternative to Teridere Mass. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, stay safe, and I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye bye.